Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to teach you a really cool technique and this is going to be how to do a bloom transition without third-party plugins. So let's begin. I have two clips down here uh, on my timeline. These is just, this is just footage I had laying around uh, that I shot of this wrestler and he slams this guy and then he goes to spraying his hair like this and we're going to do a transition. So the first thing, we're going to get our playhead right in between the two clips and get it to the starting point where we want our transition to start. And I would know that I want it, I usually do about two seconds for these kind of transitions. So we're just gonna change that value there from 12 to 11 and hit enter and that's gonna bring us back one second. And now we're going to uh, grab a, a series of effects that we're gonna use to achieve the bloom transition. Uh, one of them is going to be channel blur. Another one is going to be levels. As you know, a bloom transition blows out. So we're going to use levels to achieve that. And I'll show you how. And we're also going to use contrast. There's a number of different effects that you can do with this. And you can play with it and create different styles and your own styles of transitions. Uh, the sky is really the limit here. So now we're going to go up into our effect controls. Make sure that your clip is highlighted. If you double click it, I believe that takes you into the effect controls. If not, just uh, go in there. Anyways, so you, it may for you look like this, but you're going to need to drop down so that you can see your values. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is go into the uh, parameters in the effects and keyframe the ones that we're going to use. Uh, with channel blur, it's kind of dependent on what your shot looks like and how you want it uh, to sort of blur out uh, its detail and color a little bit. Uh, for this one, I think there's a fairly decent amount of red, red and green channel. So I'm going to uh, keyframe both of those. And these are our first keyframes, so they are going to be neutral. We're not going to change the parameters on these keyframes. This is kind of just to indicate where the changes are going to start in those parameters. All right, uh, so in levels, we're going to use the RGB white input level, and that's uh, the effect that is going to blow out uh, the clip at the height of the transition. And we're also going to use a little bit of contrast. All right, so now that we've keyframed all of the effects that we want to use in this transition, we're going to go back down into our timeline and hit the down arrow and just look at the, la uh, the last frame. I uh, went one frame left there just so I could see the last frame itself in the uh, project monitor. And I'm going to drop keyframes again on all those same effect parameters that we had keyframed earlier. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, I'm going to basically start making this frame look like how I want it to look at the height of the transition, which is going to be, you know, very blurred out, very uh, blown out. So uh, the last thing I, I do is blow it out because then you really just can't tell what's going on beyond that. So let's just start dragging these up just by clicking and, and dragging to the right. You can see in our project monitor the images starting to get a red uh, a blurriness out of the red channel. And then we're going to do the same with the, with the green. And you can see there that that's already lose, uh, starting to have a really uh, glowiness uh, to it. And I'm going to come down to contrast. And I'm going to bring in a little bit, kind of, of a, a bit of a more uh, definition in with the, con with the contrast that way. And then uh, I may even do a little bit more than that. That's cool. And now for the final step, I'm going to go in and uh, set my white Im RGB white input level to zero. And that's going to blow it out fully. All right. Now, if you want, you can uh, drop those down just so that your uh, effect rack is a little bit neater. We can even go in and watch what we just did. All right, so we have the first half of our transition, but it kind of just, uh, you know, it's hard into this clip. So what we want to do is 
do everything we just did on the end of clip one, we want to do in mirror on the beginning of clip two. So what we're going to do is, the first thing that we're going to do is come up here into our effect controls. We are going to hold control or command on Mac and select all of these effects. Then right click and go save preset. And we're gonna name this preset, uh, let's just call it a wrestler transition out because we're going out with what we just did. And let's go okay. And you'll notice now that that is going to come up in our presets right here. Wrestler transition out. You can call it really whatever you want. So now we're going to take that uh, preset and we're going to drag it onto the second clip. And you'll notice it's all the same here. We even still have our keyframes intact, but they are at the end here. But we want them at the beginning. So what we're going to do is go in to the effect parameter and we're going to drag a little box and select the second keyframe here because that was the one where uh, we made all of our changes to and we're just going to drag it right back to the very first frame and we're going to do that for each of our parameters that we changed. All right, so once you drag the last keyframe back to the first one, now we can position our playhead again for the precisely one second by changing uh, this value here to one value greater. So we'll go to 1354. And now once we have our playhead there, we're going to drag our neutral keyframes, which are gonna bring the clip back to its normal look, right onto the playhead. And this way we will know that we have the same transition only mirrored so now we're going to drop these this way and what we can do now is select all of these effects there where we just changed the keyframe position right click save preset and we're going to call that wrestler transition in and go OK and now what you'll have in your presets is a wrestler transition in a wrestler transition out so we'll see what we actually accomplished here. Here the wrestler jumps and it blooms and makes a transition to his victorious spray walk out. Does not high five the children. What an ass. Oh well. So the cool thing about this is now you have these transitions saved so you don't need to go to the trouble anymore of uh, you know uh, making them again. So if I wanted to say, uh, not in that bin, Say I wanted to uh, get some more footage here uh, into this project. I was doing a big project and I wanted to do this transition a few more times. Uh, here is uh, another, you know, we'll grab a little, another, say we want to grab another clip and repeat and add it to our timeline and we want that transition to happen again between this clip and this clip then all we would do is go back into our effects, presets. Well, we know we want out on this one and we want in on this one. So now when we watch it, you will see that we're doing the same bloom transition. All right, thanks for watching everybody.